Hi guys, welcome back to Judy P's Crafty Journeys. Uh, today I just want to show you um, some prints that I made doing some jelly printing. Um, this is just a quick video so I won't be on here very long, but I did want to show everyone because I thought it was pretty cool looking. But uh, what these are done on is this. I got at Walmart at their 100% cotton canvas art pad. And it contains 10 sheets. You can use it with paint markers, crayons, pencils, acid-free. And it's already acrylic gesso primed, which is nice. And as you can see, I've used it all. Um, it was a lot of fun. I wanted to do some jelly plating one night, but I didn't want it to take real long. And I remembered, oh, I have that canvas. That uh, canvas I got from Walmart. Because I had never actually seen this. I mean, I've seen regular canvases and such, but I've never seen little sheets of cotton canvas so I thought it was pretty cool and so I just want to share with you um, how my stuff looked and as a matter of fact I had very minimal things to work with I had my paints I had my uh, uh, brayer but uh, I didn't have like any kind of uh, bubble wrap or any kind of doilies or anything to put in them to give them you know interesting uh, designs and such so what I did because I was at my girlfriend's house and she was uh, organizing her basement. And while I sat down there and did this, um, which I would have helped her, but I, I was injured at the time. I had a hurt knee. So, but uh, while I was sitting there talking to her and doing this, I used a paper bag, not a paper bag. I used a plastic bag. I used the top of a soda bottle. I used the bottom of a soda bottle. Um, she had this like little spongy thing, but it didn't really do much of anything. I guess because of the texture on it already. And uh, there was something else too. But anyway, whatever I could find that just was laying around down there, there really wasn't much to work with. But I thought they turned out well. So anyway, you can get that at Walmart and probably other places as well. I do not remember what I paid for it. But here's my first one. We'll go, well, actually, I'll just go like this. All right. And I'm sure you could do, you can do both sides of it. And this is my least favorite. That's why it's in the back. And... I don't even remember what I did to this one to get it to look like that. I was probably just uh, swirling it around with, oh, I know what I did. I put like my paint like in a circle and that, and then I kind of just kind of braid it out just a little bit. So um, that's my least favorite, but you know, it's all right. And this is my favorite one. This reminds me of a bunch of bees in a frenzy. So I call it my frenzied bees page and I just I really like how this one turned out I thought that was pretty cool and what did I use on that was that the I think that was the paper bag or the plastic bag and then I put some dots in the middle and such but anyway I thought that one turned out really cool it's like one of my favorites um I've got this one and it reminds me of just like a fall reminds me of a fall day you know with the the colors in it so And I did that with the plastic bag. A lot of these were the plastic bags. Or I just rolled it out just a certain amount and then put it down. Like this one here. I had my different colors. And then when I did the brayer, I just kind of rolled it a little bit here and there. And uh, so I've got that. And I thought that looks pretty good. It reminds me of watercoloring. So I have that one. And this one here. I can get it. It's got some shiny paint in it, if you can see it. It's kind of faint. Well, I can see it, but it's kind of faint. Probably in the camera. And uh, greens and like a light purple. And I couldn't even tell you what I used on this one. But uh, anyway, like I said, I was just playing around with a few things. Um, this one here, um, I did... I don't know if I did part of the bottom of the bottle. Because a lot of my make do just a little bit of the bottom of the bottle. There's like a part of a circle there. It's kind of hard to see. If you see it in person, it's a lot easier. But I thought that one was really pretty as well. And then I have this one. And I have that one. I thought it turned out really nice. That's one of my favorites too. And then my favorite, favorite one out of all of them, next to my bees, 
is this one. I thought that one turned out really, really nice. You can see. But I just think it's really nice because of the texture of the canvas and then whatever else you may use on here, you know, you're going to get some pretty cool prints, I think, and they're a perfect size. You know, being, there's what, six, six by eight? They're perfect to put in in between pages on a journal. I can make some tags with them, pockets. They're just so, you know, flexible. And uh, they won't get a bunch of wrinkles in them as easy as paper would. And they're just, they're just very pliable. So I'm going to get me another pad of this sometime soon. And when I'm here at home and I have more things to work with, like my doilies and my stencils and such, I will uh, do a new batch and see what I can come up with when I actually have more things to work with. So that's my video, guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you think this is pretty cool, go out and get yourself one of these. Like I said, I bought mine at Walmart, and I believe it was fairly cheap. Anywhere from maybe five to eight bucks or something like that, if I remember correctly. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening or day, whichever it is where you're at. Don't forget that life is a journey, not a destination. And until next time, my crafty friends, bye.